Hey wonderful scrappers, it's Lauren here. I'm so excited to be back to share with you a process video for the Hip Kit Club design team and this is part of the weekly sketch challenge. Now because I scrapbook mostly in a 9 by 12 inch format this year, I've had to squish my sketch a little bit and it's just a little bit different but I think I've added most of the elements on the sketch if you if you get my gist. Now these absolutely adorable photos are of my children nine years apart on Easter morning so I they came out and they were doing the Easter egg hunt thing and this photo of them when they were little came up in my Facebook memories and then I asked them if they'd sit down and replicate the photo and I just thought oh it's so adorable so it's definitely formed part of my Easter memories in my 2020 Project Life album. So I am using the beautiful May kits from the Hip Kit Club. Um, the, I add, the only thing that I didn't use out of the May kits was some of the mixed media background that you'll see me do on my layout, but the colors that I've used are from past kits, uh, past color kits. So you'll see that in a second, but I'm trying to think of the sketch which if you um, pause and head back to the beginning of this video I showed a quick flick of it and it had three photos across the center of the page. Now because I couldn't fit three across I had to kind of come up with a way that it would look like three things but not really. So I've managed to do that with these gorgeous tags that um, I think they came in the pocket life kit. I've also done a bit of fussy cutting of some of the florals out of the pattern paper kit and I'm just adding those in because there were florals in the sketch and who could not help but fussy cut butterflies when you have a whole sheet of um, butterflies on a beautiful pink paisley piece of paper to cut out. So I cut out some of those because I wanted to sort of tie that black and white theme in with amongst all this color and um, and there you have it so if you're new to my channel a big welcome uh, I'm I I've been scrapbooking for a while now and my little YouTube channel has been going for a couple of years and I really enjoy the process so if you're new a big welcome and I hope you like my scrapbooking style and would consider becoming a subscriber and to my loyal wonderful subscribers thank you for keeping on tuning in and keeping my inspiration to create videos for you alive um, so yeah so there you have it there's my main cluster all built there uh, just like you see me as I set it out that unfortunately that create you won't see eventually <laughs> but um, I just set that out and I adhered it all together in one cluster because I'm about to come in and do some mixed media work on my background and here's my this is my very organized very um, you know well thought out <laughs> color palette there but these are all the Lindy's um, stamp gang products that we've used in the past and so it's like a nice little palette I can just pick it up and make sure the colors that I want will match perfectly um, and, and that's what I did so you'll see those colors coming out of the box here it did take me a little while to dig through um, but they'll come out of the box in a minute and we'll start working on my mixed media background so as you know if I, I've fallen in love with mixed media and most of my layouts have some form of mixed media on them. The I, th I struggle now not to put something on there. If I had a pattern paper background, I think that that would probably be the only time that I wouldn't use any mixed media because that background would be doing the work that the mixed media would, would uh, be otherwise doing. But as you'll see in a second, I'm going to pull out a few different colors and just make a really colorful um, background, which will help that photo cluster sort of jump off the page a little bit more and add that depth into my layout. So there's the colors I've chosen to um, Lindy, uh, yeah, Lin, is it Lindy Stamp Gang or Shimmers? Shimmers sprays there. And then we've got two Lindy Stamp Gang 
um, powders there and we ju I just add a bit of water to those to activate them um, you've got to be careful with those because their pigment is very strong so you just need the tiniest little bit um, add a bit of water and you have um, a watercolor a, li a liquid watercolor to use as you please so on my white cardstock I'm just applying some clear gesso clear gesso seems to work for me because when I used to use white gesso the white would just be not the same white as my page and it used to drive me crazy so I now use clear gesso when I'm applying it to white backgrounds and um, and that I think is just the Dina Wakely one that I use and now I'm just going to start blending and adding some colors these two colors these pink and yellow you've probably seen me use these in a whole bunch of videos because I love them I love the way they blend together and make that perfect tone of orange there that pink and pink and yellow and now they're running out <laughs> I'm very sad I've had them for a very long time and you can see I'm trying to squeeze my little pink bottle there but Alas, no, there's not much left in it. So I'm going to have to try and find someone local that hopefully sells those products so I can reload my stash. So any Aussies that know where I can get them from, can you let me know in the comments? Because I don't know of any Australian stockists. So if you can let me know, that'd be great. Um, so as you can see, those four colours have come together and blended really well together to make a really lovely, colourful background. I'm just applying a little bit more. I'm also having a bit of fun knowing that that photo cluster is going to cover up 90% of it. But I just love playing with mixed media and seeing what, what happens when I blend them and play with them and, you know, add color on top of them and blotch them out like you've just seen me do. So I just enjoy playing. So even though all that mixed media in the middle there, you're not going to see the joy is in the journey isn't it that's what I always say the joy is in the journey especially for a hobby like this so yeah so as you can see um, my typical style is I dry off between colors but I was just going crazy this layout I didn't have any kind of preconceived ideas other than the sketch going into making it um, I didn't have a plan in place I just was thinking about the sketch when I was pulling everything out and so I was just sort of going with the flow for this layout and sometimes it works really well when you do that other times not too well <laughs> so what do you think of those colors do you like those mixed media backgrounds who let me know in the comments if you're a fan of mixed media backgrounds or if you find them overwhelming or how do you do it do you make backgrounds like I've just done or do you have different techniques that you use to create that similar effect let me know in the comments because I'd really love your feedback and I'm always interested in learning new styles and things like that so as you can see, all those four colors are popping out at points around those photos. And you can see it's really kind of just made that uh, photo cluster uh, and photo and tag cluster um, something a little bit special. So I'm just going to work on the middle section now um, to cover up that create and sort of get that third tag slash what's meant to be a photo um, feeling in the middle there so my sketch is on point and then I'm going to add that beautiful cut um, die cut called life there and I thought this title nine years life is that perfect perfect title for the nine year gap between these two photos of my gorgeous children boy that nine years has flown I it kind of I don't know about you if you're um, have children like I do that are sort of older now or getting older but I got this feeling that oh my goodness that section of time went so fast that little bit of in less amount of time both my children will have probably left home <laughs> and so it was a bit of a like oh my goodness I I just yeah I, I don't know how I feel about that in some ways it's that natural progression but I don't know if I'm prepared for children leaving home and me not having babies under my roof and caring for caring for babies I don't know how I'm going to go with that um that time give me some tips on that stuff all those experienced mummies out there that their babies have left home now how did you guys cope when 
they left home? Was it a natural progression or was there a real sense of like loss and sadness and worry? And these are all the things I'm predicting anyway. But as you can see, we do have this wonderful hobby that I'm sure will comfort me at times when when the day comes and all my babies have flown the coop. Um, and I guess butterflies... They're all, they always make you happy, don't they? Well, they always make me happy anyway. So here I am. I've just added my floral elements, keeping in time with the sketch. And I've added some butterflies to help bring it to life. And I'm just trying to finish off my title. And I really couldn't work this nine years bit until I decided to put it up the top. I wanted it all together with that life, but it, the font was just a bit too thick and it wasn't working. So up there in that corner... Um, I thought looks good and it took that sharpness off that edge of that card and it helped that transition into the the top section and um, now I get to play down the bottom section and I go a bit embellishment crazy. <laughs> How cute are these dimensional flowers which are probably not going to do my album any good but they are so pretty and they just they just had to be on this album so I mean, had to be on this layout. So my album is just going to have to work itself out. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to cope in the album, but anyway. So here I am just playing with a few little embellishment clusters. This is really the last finishing, finishing off of a layout where you get to play with all these beautiful little bits and pieces and add those finishing touches on there. And I... I went on overload. Um, there's a point where someone should probably stop me at this stage, but no, I keep I keep on going. So we've got some of those beautiful products from Amy Tangerine, her new collection, that bow, um, those dimensional flowers there from the Willow Lane collection, the crepe paper Willow Lane collection, um, those tags there from the stamp market collection that little captured that's a stamp market collection i think it's called modern girl and those beautiful beautiful cardstock puffy stickers that you see me working with there now they are from the amy tangerine that new collection um, as well which is so bright and colorful and happy so i'm just adding some journaling on and i'm going to do some little love hearts here and there and my layout is complete so if you have not heard from the about the hip kick club i encourage you to head on over and check it out the link is in the description below so you can head on over and check it out we've also got a fabulous facebook group you do not need to be a hip kick club subscriber to be in the facebook group you can share your projects and just be a part of our wonderful community we have such a good time over there weekly challenges lots of inspiration being shared and everyone is so positive and lovely so i encourage you to click on that link below and come and join our hip kick club family so there's my layout complete hope you like it guys take care happy scrapping